Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Ben and welcome back to Until Dawn. At the end of the last episode, Mike and Jess were running through the woods being chased by God knows what. Something that was big enough to kill a whole deer. Uh, a bit scary, but they managed to make it into the safety of the cabin. Um, they want to get down and dirty, but Jess is refusing to until Mike has made it a bit more cosy. Nice. This will lighten up the mood a little. Hmm. Oh! Hey, why are you okay? What are you doing? Why are you asking her if she's okay? It's the lights. I know it's the lights, dummy. You broke them. But it's probably faulty wiring or something. Mm. You've got faulty wiring. It's rude. Okay, the fire's glinting. Let's go and have a look. It's not working. Come on. Ah, at last. Like mood lighting. Okay, so we're gonna put some logs on the fire. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use to light it though. Alright. Logs are ready to go. Just need a match. Uh got a light to love. Anything? Fuck, Mike. What? What's wrong? Oh, crap. What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone. It is gone. What? Yes. Slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Can't find it. Crap. No. I must have dropped it outside. We're not going back out there. You mad? I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay. Okay. Well. I'll have you look for it. It's gotta We've gone be through there. four phones yeah. in a year. I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear or whatever it is. Not sure it's a bear. Fine. I just wish you hadn't gotten me completely soaking wet trying to scare me. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jess. Probably fell out in the water and doesn't even work anymore anyway, so whatever. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Okay, is that a lighter on the table? No, but it's a box of matches, I think. Looky, looky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? I'm not you sure if she's in the mood anymore. We got here, haven't you? Right, be careful. I have had premonitions from the totems about explosions, so... Man one, fire zero. Nice and safe. Very nice. Bravo. All right, my lady. What comes next? I think... Well, I, I wish we had some booze. <sighs> oh, dear. Uh, well, uh, if I'd have known that ahead of time. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of just... I'm not feeling it yet. Um, no, I'm, to be honest, I'm sick to death of him seducing her. So we're gonna go, we're gonna be nice for a change and say let's let's reassure her. Am I doing something wrong? No, no, no. That isn't reassuring. I thought you were one way, but you're kind of another way. Does if that make sense? It's, <laughs> it's not your fault. No. Uh, Jess, I really like you. Whoever you think I am. Well, just give me a chance, and I will show you what you need. Well, I am liking your confidence. Mike, the shutters. Yeah, Mike. About them. I've thought of another excuse. Close them, please. <laughs> There's just no one out there. I feel like someone's watching us. I don't like it. Yes, really. It's fine. I really don't like it. Okay. Shutter oh. It is. Oh dear. Well, hang on a minute. I have just seen that that thing's outside. So why would I take him anywhere near the? That would be mad. Is that what I have to do? No, I don't want to. No. 
Do I get a say in the matter? Hannah winning bronze at the Alberta Invitational in 2013. I am missing so many clues. Okay, a framed photo of Hannah playing tennis. And why is that a clue to anything? Okay. I'm just doing anything I can do to avoid opening those shutters. I don't like the idea that someone could be lurking out there. Someone is lurking out there. That's why I don't go anywhere near them. Right. What's this? The Kama Sutra. Don't think he needs that. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> These guys were inventive. Whoa. I'm not sure if I'm ready for such advanced levels of game play. Okay, I think I'm done with the Kama Sutra. Let's see what's through here. Alright, brace yourself. You are right there, tough man? What do you think was in there, Mike? Come on. <sighs> Scared by a shower curtain, eh? Not quite so big anymore. Right, I think I've got to bite the bullet. I've got to go and deal with these shutters. <sighs> okay, again, I'm preparing for a big jump scare here. Here we go. Hmm, what's this first? Oh, Jess! Look at this! Is it a fire? No, way cooler. I've already lit the fire, haven't I? <laughs> you want two fires? Um, no, scaring her with a gun would be dangerous. You might accidentally blow her head off. You don't know if that thing's loaded or if the safety's on. Uh, let's just show her. Even less! Why do guns make men go completely bonkers? Nothing. Right. She'll never understand what we have together. Okay, um, can I keep the gun? Probably not. Right, let's do it. Here we go. Okay, I had nothing to worry about. Uh, shutters are shutted. Now, where were we? Oh, God. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I think I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to, like, keep this up, and... What? Keep, keep what? Look, I act all super confident and like a total sexy babe and everything, but underneath, I gotta be honest, I'm... A bitch? ...really kind of insecure. <laughs> um, see, I want to be reassuring, so because it's nice, but I don't want to do anything that's going to help him get laid. But uh, okay, reassuring. Jess, you've got to be kidding me. What? You have nothing to be insecure about. Oh, <laughs> you have no idea. Sure, I do. You're just like me and everyone else. We're all insecure. But you know how to handle yourself. You and now you want her to handle you. It's real. Yeah. I guess I do. Yeah. And that's super fucking hot. Really? Yeah, hell yeah it is. See if you can find a blanket and maybe we can snuggle up a bit by the fire and sort out exactly how big of a dick you are. Okay. Well... I think Mike's finally cracked it. Alright, um, 
Got to desperately find a blanket for Mike now. At least if he finally does get some, he might shut the fuck up about it for oh, five hello. minutes. Wait. What now? I'm doing it! Just, why don't you just take the blanket off the bed? The blanket! Right. Blanket's coming up. Why don't you use the shower curtain? <laughs> Okay, where am I supposed to find blankets? Did you find them? No! Yeah, still looking. Oh, is there something glinting over here? Yes, there is. Native American myths and legends. Hmm. Something about bears. Looks like we weren't the only ones to meet the friendly neighborhood terror bears. That does not make me feel any better. There's that skull symbol we found in the mines. Have a look. There is a section showing symbols which the Native Americans use to keep evil spirits away. Okay. Hmm. Oh, is there. Could we use a blanket? Is that a. No. I don't know where to find the blankets. I feel like I've been everywhere. Aha! I didn't look in here. I think we found them. Your auto man and me would blanket for the meat. Anything if all monsieur? He'll have something new smooth. And wow. And uh, Nikki. That can be arranged. It's watching. <laughs> Mike? What is that? I don't know. Okay, well, go find out now, please. Whatever it is, I'm just glad it ended that awful French faux conversation. <laughs> Could you come with me? Can I take the gun? Oh, right, let's go. I can hear music. Oh. Oh, there's a clue on the rug. It's a phone. Is it her phone? It's your phone. Oh. What? How is it my phone? I don't know, it just came through the window. That's normal. Oh. God damn it! What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. I wouldn't do that! Hey! Yeah, pricks! That means you! I know! Out there. What the fuck are you trying to do? No! Please get back inside! Classy. Classy woman. Break. You hear that, Mike? Your luck's in. Whoa! <laughs> Although Jesse's luck is out. Shit. I lost really one. The girls were communicating with us? I don't know. I don't know if I wish they were, or if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. 
So I guess these two, after the seance, uh, there was a clue about heading to the library uh, to investigate more about uh, who or what killed Gosh, them. Gosh, really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he looked like he was keeping it together, but... Do you think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? I mean, it's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to, like, have a seance. Hmm. Maybe we went too far. Keep your eyes peeled for any clues. Whoa! Or flying books! Holy crap! Are you okay? I think so. Look. What? There was something behind the books. What is that? Is it a button? Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Why would there be books flying off the shelves? For four, I guess. Hmm. Careful. Like in a movie right now? If we are, sort of. <laughs> Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house. I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is super old. So, should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 no. You go. <sighs> Gee, thanks. Such a gentleman. Right. Let's do it. Oh, I'm being filmed. Portrait of the Washington Twins. This must have been taken a few months before they disappeared. Oh. What? Whoa, is what this... did you find? It's only a picture. What did that say? Holy cow. Um, well, I didn't get a chance to read it, but I think in this situation, if there's a danger or a threat, then it's good to be honest and tell everyone so everyone's on the same page, surely. Now, now Ash, I, I, I don't want to freak you out, but, but look at this. What? Chris, what is that? I, All right, calm down. I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris, this is serious. We need to find Josh right now. Oh, I'm not going to get to know what the threat was. That's a shame. Uh, unless I can pick it back up, can I? Because that was probably quite important. No, it's gone. Okay, that's a bit creepy. Uh, Let's check it that? out. Careful. I suppose there's a chance Jess might not be dead. I wouldn't bank on it. Do you think someone was actually after Hannah and Beth? If so, that would be really messed up. So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? Maybe. And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. You hear that? That was Josh! Oh, coming from the kitchen. Josh! Josh! Coming! Oh! Ashley! Ashley, what's going on? Bring it! Ashley! Um, Go on, son. Gonna... Put some money behind it. I really wish people would stop snatching the women away. Right, what's happened? Ash? Ash? Oh! Whoa! Okay, that wasn't a prank. He, he properly hit me.
I say he. It might not be a he. God knows what it is. You're gonna set fire to your glove. Oh! This is getting nastier and nastier every time I come back. What are we doing today? I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. Oh! I'm not sure I like any of them, really. There's a couple of them that are okay. As much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell okay. me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time. Your answers are important. Okay. This should be easy. Hmm. Sam versus Josh. Uh, Josh really freaked me out. A couple of episodes ago, I think. Uh, so, I prefer Sam. Um, Emily or Matt. Uh, that's an easy one. Emily is horrible. <laughs> I hope this isn't going to, like, influence who dies or anything. Uh, Chris or Ashley. No-brainer. Ashley's much nicer than Chris. Chris is a bit of a dick. Mike or Jessica, oh wow, um, I hate them both, but who do I find less annoying? Uh, Jessica, because I, th I think she showed a bit of insecurity, a bit of real human emotion, whereas I think Mike is just a horny idiot, so we're going with Jessica. A very weird look you gave me. Oh, um, Josh or Emily. Like I said, Josh a bit weird, but um, horrible, Emily, horrible. Uh, Mike or Chris? I think I prefer Chris. Tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? Okay. Oh. Oh. I mean, that really is a hard choice. Oh, I think I most dislike Mike. Well, I can't blame you there. He is a bit of a jerk. <laughs> Better keep your eye on him. I'm trying. Don't let his smug bravado spoil your game. Well, let's see what happens with Mike. Oh dear. I might have doomed Mike. Once well, again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. Previously on Until Dawn. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Apparently he had warned them against pursuing their construction project in Blackwood Pines and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. S. I. S. T. Sister? Ask it whose sister? Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Which sister is it then? Ah! Run! Oh. Oh. oh my god. Ash. Seven hours until dawn. Oh fuck, what the fuck? Jessica! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jess! Jess! 
Okay, I'm not sure this is a good idea. So that was pretty much my story in a nutshell up to this point, but if you do want to see the full story then go back to episode 1 and watch from there. This seems like a pretty exciting place to leave this video. If you've liked it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, leave a comment down below, do all that fun stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!